GUIDE-TO, Atmospheric Testing, in Confined Spaces. What is a confined space? A confined space is defined as a space that is large enough for an employee to enter and perform work. Has limited or restricted means for entry or exit. Is not designed for continuous human occupancy. A permit required confined space is defined as contains or has a known potential to contain. A hazardous atmosphere. Contains material with the potential for engulfment. Has an internal design that could entrap or asphyxiate the entrant. Contains any recognized safety or health hazard. Examples of confined spaces, storage tanks and vessels, saws and manholes, underground utility vaults, agriculture silos, railcar tanks, marine vessel tanks, tunnels, grain elevators. Atmospheric hazards in confined spaces. Atmospheric hazards in a confined space are those that expose entrance to a risk such as death, entrapment, injury, or acute illness from one or more of the following causes. Oxygen, an atmospheric oxygen concentration below 19.5%. Oxygen deficiency, or above 23.5%, oxygen enrichment. Dot, combustible gases, a flammable gas or vapor in excess of 10% of its lower explosive limit, LEL, yet still remaining below the upper explosive limit UEL. Dot, the lowest concentration, air fuel mixture, at which a gas can ignite is called lower explosive limit. LEL. Concentrations below this limit are too lean to burn. The highest concentration that can be ignited is its upper explosive limit, UEL. Above that concentration, the mixture is too rich to burn. The fire tetrahedron, for combustion to occur, there must be four elements, 1, fuel, 2, oxygen to support combustion, 3, heat or a source of ignition, 4, chain reaction, i.e., the above three must be present in such proportions as to allow a flame to propagate. This is called the fire tetrahedron, formerly known as the fire triangle. If any of the four elements are missing, combustion cannot occur. The fourth element, chain reaction, means that not any mixture of fuel and oxygen can sustain a flame if heated. The proportions must allow a flame to propagate. For normal air, this means that the fuel concentration must be between the LEL and the UEL. Combustible gas, percent BY volume, IE systems 1 to 5 gas VIE surveying monitors read out in both percent LEL and percent by volume. For example, the LEL of methane is 5% by volume, and the UEL is 15% by volume. When a confined space reaches 2.5% methane by volume this would be equal to 50% LEL. 5% methane by volume would be 100% LEL. Between 5 to 15% by volume, a spark could cause an explosion. Different gases have different percent by volume concentrations to reach 100% LEL. Some examples are, propane's LEL is 2.1% by volume, pentane's LEL is 1.5% by volume, hexane's LEL is 1.1% by volume and gasoline's LEL is 1.3% by volume. Toxic gas is an atmospheric concentration of any toxic compound above the permissible exposure limit established by OSHA, NIOSH or ACGI. Here are examples of common toxic gases found in a confined space. Monitoring confined spaces for atmospheric hazards. Monitoring the air inside a confined space is required prior to entering. 
Testing a confined space for atmospheric hazards should be done remotely before entering, and should be done in this order. Oxygen. Ensure that proper oxygen levels are present. Combustible gases. Ensure that combustible gases are not present. Toxic gases. Ensure that toxic gases are below the OSHA permissible exposure limit. Common toxic gases in a confined space could be hydrogen sulfide, H2S, and carbon monoxide, CO, but other toxic compounds could be present. IAE Systems offers monitors to evaluate all these gases either individually or simultaneously. In a confined space, it is important to take samples at the top, middle, and bottom to locate varying concentrations of gases and vapors. Highly concentrated gases can accumulate at the top or bottom of a confined space depending on whether they are less or more dense than air. Dilute gases and vapors in the ppm range distribute evenly throughout a confined space. It is especially important to sample at a distance from the opening because air intrusion near the entrance can give a false sense of adequate oxygen presence. As the remote air monitoring is completed and the area is safe for entry, confined space entry permits should be completed and followed. After the initial entry, monitoring the air in the confined space should be continuous. A confined space entry attendant or whole watch should carry out the continuous monitoring. Conditions in a confined space can change without warning, due to leakage, toxic vapor release, or disturbing the contents of the space, before entering the confined space. Take samples at several levels, and after entering, monitor the space continuously because conditions can change. Monitors for Confined Space Entry, IE Systems offers the latest and most innovative monitors available for Confined Space Entry, CSE. Data logging is an option on all our multi-gas monitors. QIE, Confined Space Entry Monitor, the QIE CSE monitor is preset as an easy-to-use tool to comply with the atmospheric testing required. The QIE offers the flexibility to work effectively in a confined space while remaining protected from combustibles. Hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, and high or low oxygen levels. Oxygen concentration, OSHA acceptable levels are between 19.5% and 23.5%. The multi IE has preset alarms, low. 19.5% and high 23.5% which are user selectable to warn of a hazardous condition combustible gases concentrations must be below 100% of the LEL the multi IE has a preset alarm at 10% LEL of combustible gases and a high alarm set at 20% LEL these alarm set points are user selectable Toxic gases, alarms are preset at the OSHA permissible exposure limit. The multi IE has preset alarms for H2S at 10 ppm. Low alarm, and 20 ppm, high alarm. CO alarms are at 35 ppm low alarm and 200 ppm, high alarm. These alarm set points are user selectable. The multi IE also offers several other toxic gas sensors. Multi IE Toxic Gas Monitor with PID. The multi IE is an excellent personal protection monitor. It combines the traditional security of standard electrochemical and catalytic sensors with the next generation, broadband protection of a photoionization detector, PID. Unlike the QIE, this monitor offers a wide variety of interchangeable toxic sensors supplement able with a PID for applications such as confined space entry. VIE 1 to 5, Toxic Gas Surveyor. The VIE's powerful internal pump, 
combined with IE systems wide selection of toxic sensors, presents a highly effective, continuous surveying monitor. The VIAE can monitor combustibles in percent of LEL or in percent by volume. Toxia IE single gas monitors, IE Systems also offers a complete line of single gas monitors for confined space entry applications.